Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new PowerPoint game. So this game today is the uh, Capybara game. It's a 24 question bomb game. It's been made in kiosk mode. So let's get straight into it. So open up the uh, presentation. Uh, there's a title slide at the beginning here. Just click on the arrow to go to the next slide. So there is a short video, just over a minute I think. I'm going to click on skip and move past this, but you can play this if you want to. And then after that we have the explanation of the point system. So I'm going to click on skip again. If you want to, you can use this with uh, your students or whoever's playing. And let's get to the main game. Let's play. Click on the arrow here in the bottom uh, right hand corner. And that takes us to the main game. So like I said, there's 24 questions. Um, let's just undo this here. As always, it's a, a template. You can uh, make your question and your answer and then put a picture in the white rectangular box here. So you can just build your own game as you like. So let's choose some questions to show how this works properly. First one I'm going to choose is uh, question number two. So like I said, it's a template. Click on the orange rectangular box here. That will reveal the answer. And then click on the pink rectangular box, which is the answer. And then that will reveal the points. So I think there's a maximum of six points on a normal slide like this. And to go to the points counter, click on the capybara in the bottom right hand corner. Here it is, the points counter. Let's talk about this a little bit. So you can click on the points here, make as many points as you want, it goes up to 99 although you'll never actually get 99 points. And um, if you click on the capybara in the middle here, that will actually take you back to the main question slide. If you click on the capybara in the bottom left-hand corner, that will take you back to the point slide. So sometimes you might make a mistake and you need to come back. So you can use that. Now to make this a little more interesting in the points counter, there's a little uh, musical symbol in the top right-hand corner. Click on this and that will play a little bit of uh, music while you're doing the points. Now, if one of the teams gets a bomb for dramatic effects, you can click on the bomb in the bottom right hand corner here. And we get a few effects here. <laughs> a few sound effects. And you can go ahead and uh, minus the points of the team that got the bomb. OK, let's go back into the uh, question slide here and uh, choose another one. So number five, uh, same again, question and answer. And we've got to change points here. So if uh, a team gets this one, they can change points with another team. And click on the capybara in the top left hand corner. And that would take you to the uh, points uh, counter here. And then click on the capybara in the middle there. That would take you back to the main question slide. I'm going to choose lucky number seven next. So capybara question and capybara answer. So this one is the bomb very dramatic yeah nice so who got the bomb this team is going to lose all their points click on the capybara in the bottom right hand corner that will take you back to the points counter and the last one that I'm going to choose is number eight okay so question and answer again so this is the choice choice slide and some music is going to play and just click on the uh, rectangular boxes and that will reveal the points. So we've got a bomb here again. Uh, we've got a change points here. Uh, I think we've got five or six or seven points maybe. I oh, don't want six. Yeah, and then this one is just one. Okay, good. So to go back to the main question slide, just click on the background. The background will take you uh, back to the um, the points counter. So that is everything. Nice and simple. Uh, it's not a game with lots of like video files or stuff in it. It's quite simple, but it plays quite nicely. I've played it a few times and altered it and tried to improve a little bit, but it all seems to be working fine. So as I said, it is uh, a template. So go ahead and make the game as you need. Uh, the text in this game is called Balby, I think, Balby 1SC. This is a font that was actually in PowerPoint, so shouldn't be any problems with um, the font here. 
it's already embedded into the game and i think that's about it cannot think of anything else i need to say so anyway i hope you can enjoy this game um i'm not quite sure why i made it uh, i think somebody kept asking about it and I, I made the game in one day actually and i then i played it a few times and then i made lots of improvements and cleaned it up and tidied it up so i think that's everything thank you so much for watching uh download the game from the uh, google drive link that is in the description of this video uh actually one thing that i do remember is that there are comments at the bottom at the bottom of the slide there are comments which will instruct you on how to play this game anyway i, ha I hope you have a great time playing this game with whoever you're going to play it with and um i will be back with another game in the future don't know when and don't know where but um, it will be coming soon. I do have some plans to make a few different games very, very soon. Anyway, take care. Ciao, and bye for now. Bye-bye.